Don't dare move a muscle. Just this afternoon, I had an extra $200,000. I gave it to the two best hitmen west of the Mississippi. <laughs> Oh, yeah, right. You know, I don't exactly know how to feel about all this. For real, yo. The whole thing felt kind of shady, you know, like, morality-wise. Totally. How do you feel now? Better. Yeah, definitely improving. What do you think all those sparkles and shit are? The transporters are breaking you apart, man, down to your molecules and bones. They're making a copy. That dude who comes out on the other side, he's not you. He's the color Xerox. So you're telling me every time Kirk went into the transport, he was killing himself? Dude, yo, why do you think McCoy never likes to be nowhere? Because he's a doctor, bitch. Look it up, it's science. I ever tell you about my Star Trek script? The Enterprise five parsecs out of Rigel 12. Nothing's going on, neutral zone is quiet, the crew is bored, so they put on a pie eating contest. They're eating blueberry pies Better. as fast as the replicator can turn them out. Okay, Spock always wins these things. How is Spock gonna beat Kirk, yo? Spock's like a toothbrush. Look at Kirk, he's got room to spare. Spock has total Vulcan control over his digestion. You wanna hear this or not? Yeah, yeah, go. Okay, but check off, you see, he's got a whole fat stack of quad loos writing on this. And he has figured out a way to win. He's got Scotty back in the transporter room locked in on Chekhov's stomach. Every time Chekhov eats a pie, Scotty beams it right out of him. Where's he sending him? The toilet? Space! Oh. There's blueberries just floating out there. Scotty's in the transporter room fiddling with levers when Lieutenant O'Hara comes in and she's got, you know, her big pointies and Scotty's fingers are all sweaty. No! Chekhov screams, he sprays blood out of his mouth. Oh. Scotty beamed his guts into space! No way! <laughs> hey man, where are you going? You're, you're missing the best part. Being an outlaw when you got responsibilities. Darth Vader had responsibilities. He was responsible for the Death Star. True that. To it and bitches. So, uh, how was selling? I sold a tenth. One tenth? That's it? Yeah. To who? To him. I could still use a brain transplant right now. I got bitch. <laughs> you sound great. Check out that crystal size, yo. If that bitch was any bigger, it'd be a jolly rancher. You're my guest. Oh. 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 Stop marking up my fruit, ass. Come on. Bow before me. I am Lord of the Dance. Left for dead, yo. The way them bitches get all cranial when you cap them in the head, it's like, booyah! Okay, Call of Duty, World at War, zombie mode. Now that's the bomb, man. Think on it, bro. They're not just zombies. They're Nazi zombies. What difference does it make what their job was when they was living? Dude, you are so historically retarded. Nazi zombies don't want to eat you just because they're craving the protein. They do it because they do it because they hate Americans, man. Well, played the game, bro. They ain't exactly fleet of foot. No. I'm saying, where's the challenge? At least the zombies in Left 4 Dead clock a respectable 40. You gotta lead them and shit. Dude, that's because they're not even zombies. They're just infected. They got like this rage virus. Amps them up like they've been smoking the swag. Totally unfair to compare the two. That just happened.